I was trying to make a movie about childhood. I just had this one big idea. Well, how about just get the same cast and we'll film a little bit each year. Like, could you do that? Would that work as a movie? Oops. Wait a The film was going to capture this fictional family aging over 12 years. You know, it's not a documentary. It's a story. You guys ready to have some fun? Yeah! yeah. Richard called me and he asked me, what are you going to be doing the next 12 years? And then he told me about this idea. I said, I want to do it. <laughs> Boyhood is a complete original. It's the first movie that I've ever done that is truly not like another movie. It was such a leap of faith. It was so much to ask of everyone. For Eller to mature on camera in one film, it's a big thing not many actors have gone through. It was amazing to watch this boy and girl grow up. Watching them at first, kind of just being little kids who kind of do cute things until they became contributors. Action. The production itself gained momentum over the years. Every year felt like kind of a very fun reunion. It was incredible to work with these people every year. Look forward to going back. It was like family. So There's a certain commonality to growing up. Mom. There's something so normal in a certain way about Mason's story that I really always felt it would be about moments everyone shares. It's something people identify with. With the passage of time, life is beautiful and interesting enough as it is, and you don't need to manufacture a lot of falsehood. At some point, you're no longer growing up, you're aging, but no one can pinpoint that moment exactly. When you get older, you can save up and buy a car of your own. It'd be cool like I used to be. It's unlike anything I've ever experienced. We filmed for 12 years. Nobody's ever done that before. The hardest thing was when it ended. I wanted to continue shooting it for the rest of my life, and I never wanted anyone to be allowed to see it. <laughs> One story made up of a lot of little pieces. <laughs>